All right, boys and girls, today is the 15th of September, and uh, we're going to continue on with uh, working on metric conversions. I'm going to be sending you, uh, through Google Classroom, a copy of an extended uh, metric prefix chart or a, a metric conversion ladder, if you will. Uh, I just want to point out real quick to you that what we did yesterday included the prefixes kilo through milli only. And when we put those on a metric ladder, they're only one rung apart because each one of these prefixes is just 10 times bigger or 10 times smaller than the other. However, when we go above kilo, say to mega, a uh, kilo is a thousand, mega is a million. That's a factor of a thousand. So the conversion from kilo to mega is not moving a decimal point one place, but rather three places. So you can see that when we get above kilo, mega, giga, tera, these are spread out. They uh, Each one of these jumps here, if you will, uh, counts as three steps. So what I, uh, I've done here is uh, included these extra steps in between. And the same is true for the prefixes below milli. Milli is a thousandth. Micro is one one millionth. That's not a ten times difference. That's a thousand times difference. And again... Uh, for that reason, they're spread out on this uh, metric ladder or metric prefix ladder. All right, so let me go through one of the problems that I'm also going to be sending you to, uh, this morning and uh, just show you how to use this, and I'll just leave it up to you then. All right. This is a printout of the uh, problems that I'm going to send you this morning, and I am going to pick... Um, Let's see, let us pick out number four, all right, number four says, or gives you the uh, 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 measurement of 16.85 liters, they use capital L for liters, sometimes it's capital, sometimes it's lowercase, but here it's capital L, and they want us to convert that to a measurement in microliters, all right? The prefix for micro, it looks sort of like a U, maybe sometimes you'll see it, it looks like a little M. What it really is is a Greek letter, nu, and it's sort of a U with a long tail on one side, uh, depending on the, uh, the font of the uh, type you're using, it, it changes slightly. But uh, watch out for that. Uh, that's the prefix micro, and it's the Greek letter mu. All right. So anyway, what we want to do is just take reckon of uh, the the uh, uh, prefixes that uh, are involved in this conversion. We start at liters, no prefix. So this is the base unit. All right, and we're converting over to micro. So we just need to locate these two uh, prefixes on our metric prefix ladder and count how many steps are between them. So we step back over here. Here's the base unit right here. So we're going to be starting right at this place, right at the base unit. All right. And we want to go down to micro, which is right down here. All right. Now, these uh, lines are what we need to count here. How many jumps or steps to get from one to the other? So we say that this is one, two, three, four, five, okay, six steps. All right. And we also want to pay attention to direction. We are going down this chart, all right, over on this side of the uh, uh, chart I gave you, I have arrows pointing up and down, right? The arrow pointing down is when we want to use here, and uh, when we're going down this ladder, we want to move the decimal point to the right. So to do this conversion, we're going to move the decimal point uh, six places to the right. All right, so let's go back here. Okay. Let me get rid of this real quick. All right, here's the decimal point right here. Move 
six places to the right and we'll get the answer that belongs right here all right so uh, let me just move this down here 16.85 i'm going to move it six places to the right so it'll be one two three four five six decimal point and these empty spaces here get filled up with zeros so the answer here will be, what is this, 16,850,000. All right. That's right. So we go up here and write in our answer, 16,850,000 microliters. There we go, right there.